Welcome back, everyone. A live look here inside the briefing room at the White House. Ken Cuccinelli is briefing reporters right now. He is the acting director of U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services. He's addressing a new rule just released by the administration this morning. It's an update to the 1999 public charge regulation, making it more challenging for low-income immigrants to secure permanent or temporary residency in this country. He is also taking questions. We expect him to be asked about last week's controversial ICE raids in Mississippi when agents arrested nearly 700 people, mostly Latino, from seven food processing plants across the state and the targeting of Latinos by the El Paso gunman. We'll bring you that news as soon as it is in. Joining me now, NBC News White House correspondent Kelly O'Donnell, traveling with the president in Berkeley Heights, New Jersey. MSNBC correspondent Mariana Tensio is in Mississippi for us, following the very latest on the raids there. And in Washington, MSNBC contributor and politics reporter for the Daily Beast, Betsy Woodruff. Uh, let me begin with you, Kelly, because we know President Trump, uh, he proposed this update last year, according to our own reporting. According to former Homeland Security Secretary, it's done or designed to promote immigrant self-sufficiency to ensure that they are not likely to become burdens on American taxpayers. We know the, prefer the president has always had a preference for immigrants from Nordic countries. He's made that very clear as opposed to some of the other uh, disadvantaged countries. Walk us through the impact on these immigrants. Why now? Well, I don't know that the president has expressed a preference for Nordic countries. Uh, that is something where I, I'm not sure where you're getting that from. But he has certainly said that he has a, an emphasis on merit-based immigration, and he has talked about that extensively. So that matches up to his rhetoric. This change in policy is certainly going to have an impact on immigrants who are here, who are utilizing any type of uh, public uh, sort of support, whether it be food stamps or general assistance or any kind of public support and that is certainly of great concern for immigrants who are having uh, difficulty making ends meet and how that would affect their ultimate move toward getting a green card. Immigrants who currently possess a green card may not see any difference, and this will not have any effect, we're told, uh, for those who are here under a refugee status or asylum seekers. So this is looking at ways, according to the Trump administration, to look at the laws related to immigration and to try to uh, sort of funnel the president's rhetoric, policies, and views into ways to tighten the legal immigration status. There will be many critics who say this is putting a greater burden on immigrants, and then there are others who will say this is trying to emphasize what the president talks about, trying to have immigrants who come to the country who can economically take care of themselves. That's what Ken Cuccinelli is talking about. Of course, the president is here in New Jersey, not back at the White House. Much of the White House press corps is also here in New Jersey, not back at the White House where this briefing is going on. It will be controversial, certainly in the immigrant communities and those who advocate uh, for a broader immigrant policy and a broader uh, reform for allowing people to come into the country. And in some ways, it goes against what we've seen over generations and generations of people who have an up from the bootstrap sort of immigrant story, where the uh, generosity of the American community helps people to get a leg up and to begin their own American life. This is targeting those who have fewer resources and fewer abilities uh, as they begin their time in the United States. So uh, as Ken Cuccinelli takes questions, we may be able to refine more of what this is about. But this is the president's view of immigration now going into deeper regulation to try to make it harder for immigrants with fewer resources to be able to stay legally in the U.S. Amen. Yeah, and just as expected, Ken Cuccinelli did address those raids. Let me play you the soundbite that he just said coming out of that briefing. Watch. I'm not really prepared to speak to that. I don't think so. The president does those one person at a time. I think what you saw ICE do this week in enforcing the law meaningfully with seven operations across the state of Mississippi, and of course investigations still ongoing, criminal investigations growing out of that, uh, is, an, is a growth for ICE from the previous year. Their enforcement efforts are up, and I think you can expect to see more of that as part of the message of this administration. We're going to enforce the law. Yes, sir. 
Kelly, so that was just the briefing right now. As we mentioned, Ken Cuccinelli addressing the topic of the raid, saying that they're going to enforce the law. Uh, it seems that the president is going to, as he has been all throughout this, making immigration a central point of his administration. There is no indication that all the criticism and the backlash of the timing of last week's is going to impact any decision making about the topic of these types of raids going forward. We've not seen any evidence yet that uh, the